Now, I wonder, is it possible to build a system um, based on this equality, which I believe that many people agree in, and would not be willing to, uh, to sacrifice to the liberty of freedom from? Well, let me, I'm not going to be able to give a full answer to your question, because you've asked a very, very complex question, and so you're going to have to pardon me if, I'm a, if I am a little dogmatic. But I only want to suggest that the statements I'm making are not without some thought and reason behind them. In my opinion, a society that aims for equality before liberty will end up with neither equality nor liberty. And a society that aims first for liberty will not end up with equality, but it will end up with a closer approach to equality than any other kind of system that has ever been developed. Now that conclusion, is based both on evidence from history, across history, and also, I believe, on reasoning which, if you try to follow through the implications of aiming first at equality, will become clear to you. You can only aim at equality by giving some people the right to take things from others. And what ultimately happens when you aim at equality is that A and B decide what C shall do for D. except that they take a little bit of a commission off on the way.